I am inspired by nature. I have always had what I believe is a spiritual connection with nature. When I'm outside, out walking, hiking, you know, in the mountains, in forests, it, it just gives me a wonderful, serene feeling. And it's that serenity, that tranquility, that I want to evoke in my work. I want the viewer to be able to let go of you know, the daily stresses and the daily routines and step in, into the work and feel a connection with nature. That's the connection that I feel. This piece behind me um, is part of my Southern Light series. And that started, I've never seen the Aurora Borealis, but except in photographs, but um, one day taking a walk around sunset, the sky just became spectacular. It was just incredibly awesome with all the colors flowing in different directions. And I didn't have a camera with me, unfortunately, but the memories of that sky inspired my Southern Lights series. This piece is the fourth in that series. The first three actually became a triptych because they flowed together. So um, I love working with bright colors. I'm, in, you know, I'm. Um, some of my heroes are the impressionists, but I use much bolder colors. I like the flow of colors and the blending of colors. But my palette tends to be more saturated. I start with white fabric. I dye it. I paint it. I layer fabric, and um, I keep playing with it until it feels right to me. My favorite moment in the studio is when I step back and look at the design wall and say, that's exactly what I was going for. I don't know how it happened, but it's exactly what I wanted. And at that point, I take it down from the design wall, and here's where the connection with traditional quilting comes in. I layer the top piece of fabric with batting and with another piece of fabric on the back, and then I start stitching. In traditional quilting, the stitching is meant to hold the three layers together. In fiber art, the stitching adds a whole new element. It's new design, it adds another design element, and it adds texture, and gives the piece sometimes a, a really new look. So stitching is very important, and it's a part that I really love to do. It's really fun for me to move the fabric under my sewing machine and um, make it come alive in different ways than when it was just kind of flat on the design wall. Well, I am moving um, more towards impressionistic instead of representational. When I started out in fiber art, I, my work was mostly representational. And now it's becoming more impressionistic, more abstract, and um, I think also brighter colors. I'm moving into much brighter and deeper colors than I used to use, and some more whole cloth design instead of layering and um, the kind of layering that I used to do. As you can see, this is a piece that I did about two years ago. It's called Floating Leaves Revisited, and there's a lot of layering in it. It's, it's also started with white fabric, and it's all hand-dyed fabric. But um, it, there's a lot of layering of fabric as opposed to this piece, which is more whole cloth. That piece turned into a triptych because it started out, and, and pieces just evolve sometimes without anything I have to do with it. That piece started out as a mostly blue piece, one piece, and um, then the golds and the greens got incorporated, and it turned into a triptych all by itself. I had nothing to do with it. I am mostly inspired in the morning. That's my best time for working. I like to get up and have breakfast and get right into my studio and spend you know, four or five hours doing nothing but playing with fabric on my design wall. It's the best time for me. It's when I'm fresh. I turn on music, usually very, something very lively, and dance around while I'm playing with my fabric. 